I'm here tonight with Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. If beauty and brains were whiskers, I'd wake up with her on my face. Bill Schultz, he is my grotesque sidekick. Patty Ann, at times during the speech, people actually cheered. What was that about? Not just cheered. I mean, it was uproarious applause. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I mean, the only answer to that is that they're just so naive. Mm -hmm. I mean, he started talking about beauty and kindness <laughs> and peace and all this. Yeah. And I really do think that these students there believe that we could all just get along if everybody just had a hug. Exactly. It's further proof to me that anybody under the age of 18 should not be allowed to speak. Well, e either way, Greg, I think Patty Ann is on record here as being against beauty, kindness, and peace. <laughs> you wanna, if you want to throw that on the table, all right. <laughs> but. I mean, Kevin, some think of the our officers say Blackwater's actions are undermining Iraqi trust in American forces since they don't distinguish between our military and private contractors. This can't be good. No, absolutely not. I mean, I think it would help if they kept maybe a lower profile, yeah, even though yeah. Kevin, but they're like they're out there really apparently yeah. putting on a show like they're mm. in their helicopters riding really low mm. with the doors open and their guns out. I mean, yeah. I don't really think it's as much about security sometimes as is like, here's my penis. See how big it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's a really good point. I, come on. That's a, I'm, wait, it, this is the problem Prism so much when it clearly offers better lives for people and better looking breasts Greg uh, and I mean look if you're waiting in line for tissue paper or bread you might as well be stacked when you're doing it so you this makes absolutely tissue. no sense whatsoever yeah. hmm, I didn't think of it that hmm. way well you never do. strange dynamic that Bill. yes Patty and should people be allowed to make decisions about their body well I, you know, when they're 15, I don't know. You know, when I was 15, all I got was a stupid bike. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. Amy, you had nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Thank you. I'll second. Oh, you know, I'm just speaking you, the you truth. You always have to do this, don't you, Billy? Yes. It was a compliment. Uh, it was a compliment. Kevin, if... But 15 is just it wrong. Is yeah, the article makes wrong. the people want him real anymore? Exactly. Yeah. There's nothing better than a real breast. Look, Patty, no, and I, what's I, the problem here? Isn't this just part of having that home field advantage? Well, absolutely. I mean, I cannot believe the NFL is actually banning this but I mean my question is coaches don't they get paid a lot of money I mean and I'm picturing them scouring the films and trying to come up with these brilliant plays and which coach came up with I've got it we'll just have them shake their booty in front of the other team then we'll definitely win the game I mean exactly. tell me it wasn't the Jets exactly why don't they do that during golf Bill shouldn't players be able to control Daddy, don't themselves? you think the web has turned people into antisocial worms only out for their own easy self gratification well, you say that like it's a bad thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was describing my life. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, if you're smart, you know, the two don't have to be, you know, mutually exclusive. Absolutely. Sex and the internet. You combine them. It's mm. much better than actually, you know, interacting with human beings. That's what webcams are for. Exactly. 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 You asked Patty Ann why people cheered at various points during Ajad's speech. It's easy. Those people believe George Bush is the enemy, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Mm. Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. If beauty were potpourri, I'd stick her in my smelly drawers. Ready by the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation finds the number of gay characters on TV is falling on network series. Glad says this year's broadcast series will feature seven regularly seen characters who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender. This is down from a whopping nine characters in 2006 and ten the season before. Patty Ann, why do you think this is happening? Yeah, it is an incredible trajectory there, exactly, downward, exactly. downward, actually. Um, you know, they, they're just only talking about the broadcast networks, and in reality, they're saying that actually in cable, it's dramatically up. So on balance, it sounds like there were really more of these characters. It's yeah. true. And, and you know, Bill, Glad says the number of gays on cable shows is actually rising up to 40 this year. How much credit do you take for that? Yeah. Uh, a lot. <laughs> and to, the, to the point where, like, next time I go in for my raise, if they don't give me one, I'm going to file for a discriminatory lawsuit. <laughs> I think. Yeah. But I would, I would all the, like, you know, Mark Foley and Larry Craig and, of course, Brit Hume. <laughs> our most oh, don't even are, joke about things what? like that. What? I'm just saying he's a great dresser. No, okay. <laughs> Allison, out of this... Probably best I shut up. <laughs> Except Patty and Brown, does this make this... Is this, is, is this going to hurt his career or does anybody care at this point? Mm. Oh, I think, if anything, it could help it. But, I mean, I just yeah. don't understand the whole thing at all. I mean, first of all, the woman's lawyered up and she's backing way yeah. off now, says it might not have happened at all and the pictures might be fake. But, I mean, honestly, if a woman, if a man wants to be dominated, all he has to do is get married. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> no, that's right. Well, so that's true. And he's married, so... You just spoke the truth, young lady. Spoke the truth. We must Hello. move on. Ja, hallå. Hej, vet du? Niklas. Hej, Niklas. Var du besvart med in? Eh, tull.
This is why live TV rules. <laughs> a Swedish TV game pre show presenter asks a caller to solve a word puzzle, then turns her head to the side and vomits. Eva Nazimson blames the incident on period pains, saying that at first she was worried about what people would think, but then thought, well, everybody needs to spew sometimes. Obviously, she's a fan of Countdown. And now, let's answer. Last week, Allison Camarado was on and told us that her office mate, Rebecca Gomez, steals her clothes. Who's your office mate? And tell us a good story about her. Uh, it's Bill McCuddy, actually. And he Can you tell us a good story about her? clothes, especially the high heels. You know, I, actually, I don't think I was supposed to say that on the air. Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> did, Patty Ann, this is, Patty Ann, this is rehearsal. Say whatever you want. <laughs> this will never see air. Oh, uh, no, nice. Okay. Good. Thank God. Okay. All over my new chinos. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, it's the other way, Bill. Does he steal your unmentionables as well? Uh, well, that's why they're called unmentionables. I'm not going there. Sorry. Okay. Patty Ann Brown, the lovely Patty Ann Brown, and the lovely Kevin Godlington, and the lovely Bill Schultz. That does it for me. I'm lovely Greg Gutfeld.